In session number seven, we're going to discuss uh, the different appliance uh, designs you can do and how they fit in, how to balance. And um, we'll start off with refrigerator. The first thing you want to do with the refrigerator, in most cases, we like to use a refrigerator cabinet. A refrigerator cabinet is an upper cabinet that comes out 24 inches from the wall, whereas a standard cabinet comes out 12 inches from the wall. So the easiest thing to use on cabinet planner to do it is to actually take it, go to upper and go to fridge with legs. And if you make it 40 inches wide, this cabinet is now 24 inches deep. As you can see right there, 24 inches deep. The fridge opening is 70 inches. Uh, from top to bottom. The tallest refrigerators are 72 inches. So, so let's just say it's 72. And the, the, the side, these are called refrigerator panels. What that is, that's a half inch piece of plywood that's finished and on the front of it it's got a style that covers up that uh, the end of the piece of the plywood but also finishes off the refrigerator. In most cases they're an inch and a half wide. In some companies cases you have to cut them down to size. In this drawing these two styles are exactly two inches wide. So in other words a refrigerator cabinet and two refrigerator panels whenever you're ordering you have to remember those three pieces. Uh, we're going to crown it out. On this case we're going to put crown on all three sides because since it's deeper than the other cabinets that will be next to it you're going to have a you want to make sure it goes all the way back to the next cabinet that's behind it save that we're going to go to appliances and we're going to grab a refrigerator I'm going to drop it right between here Refrigerators are 36 inches wide. We have the option of what type, one door, two doors, or French doors. Most of the new refrigerators are made with the French doors. And let's just go ahead and make it 72 inches tall. The next thing we have to put in is a stove. So we have the appliances grab a stove. We're going to want that stove probably balanced in here somewhere. We'll be able to alter it and move it as we go. We're going to make it stainless. So the standard width on refrigerators is 36 inches. The standard width on regular stoves, what we call slide-in stoves, is 30 inches. Um, again, we're looking for a little bit of balance here, so let me show you how we'll do this. Um, we're also going to get a microwave. A microwave, if we're going to put it above the stove, we're going to get a microwave with a vented bottom. We're going to raise it off the floor. In this case, we'll call, we'll, we'll do a, uh, we'll raise it off the floor 54 inches. Keep it simple. Normally, I like to have a microwave a little, little taller, but for just this purpose, we're going to do it this way. And so now we have to have a, a balanced cabinet door size here, door size there, and it's kind of a weird shape. So we're going to go upper, uh, two openings. We're going to go over 30 inches. put crown on the top. We're going to move everything down a little bit. Upper one opening. And in this particular case, the door handle's on the wrong side. 
so we go to door hardware pull on right instead of pull on left okay save if you'll take a look there we want a little bit of filler in this crack right here between if whatever possible at least a half an inch but an inch is better and the reason you want a filler material in there is so uh, your door can open completely without uh, hitting the side of the refrigerator panel so upper filler don't forget to put crown on it save cabinet will have filler too save and this is called the wall bridge a wall bridge we're gonna go right across the top of the microwave wall bridges come in increments 30 33 and 36 occasionally there's some other specialty sizes but that's when you're doing a design you want to do it with what most common in all of your lines so you either use a in this case a 30 off the floor you want it on top of the microwave and the height's going to be 15 inches tall crown it save it and then the lower cabinets we're going to put an 18 inch drawer base here a 15 inch drawer base right here door hardware on the right and again we have enough space for a one inch filler down below So this door, number 20, is the same size as this door here. They're both 15 inch doors. That's a 15 inch door. And so as you go around the room, they're very similar sizes and it'll look really good. To check it with 3D, So if people are viewing it from this side, it seems balanced over here. If you're looking at it from that side, these are also balanced up here as well. Now let's go and instead, let's say they didn't want a push-in stove. Let's say they wanted a cooktop instead. So lower most people will use a sink base for this application and the reason you use a sink base is because the upper drawer will not work App appliances cooktop just put the 30 inch cooktop in there and save it sink miscellaneous sink now sinks are a little weird they're usually going to be 31 32 inches um, in this particular design for whatever reason it's not a perfect perfect thing I usually make that 
height one inch and I make it 36.1 or 36.2 whatever off of the floor and I use a square single bowl again it looks cleaner when you do it in 3d it'll also look nice so now the cooktop sitting there these are not operational drawers and they have storage space underneath the other option is you if a cooktop is is electric you can actually utilize a regular base cabinet with a working drawer or two drawers up here and or a three drawer base so some people like a three drawer base because they have more they, they like the easy access of of getting in and out of those drawers if it's a gas cooktop gas is a little more complicated because it has a gas line uh, sometimes they're a little bit deeper and so it's a little more challenge but whenever you put granite or countertops on here um, that will add an inch and a half to the height and then it'll, it, usually they're three inches thick and it'll drop another inch and a half into the top base here um, be careful and ask for assistance if you're unsure on how that works to add the countertops you simply go to miscellaneous we've already done the standards in our countertops and pick the color the countertop in there I usually take out the backsplash height I take that out and now when we view it in 3D the countertops are applied it looks clean the reason I put the on this sink I raised it a little bit it actually if you don't raise it to 36.1 or 36.2 you will actually see the granite inside it so yeah that's why you have to raise that up now the one other option is a wall oven and I'm gonna actually just add an extra wall to draw the wall oven right now oh. We'll make it 96 inches, the wall 96 inches tall, the depth four and a half inches thick, and for a wall oven you go to tall, oven cabinet. Wall ovens are generally either 33 inches or 31 inches, depending on the supplier both kinds will handle a 30 inch wall oven there are three types of, of wall ovens usually they're 24 inches wide 27 inches wide or 30 inches wide um, and occasionally you might run into some odd sized wall ovens make sure you crown around the top just the same as you would the refrigerator cabinet and what we want to do here generally a double oven you go under appliances and it says wall oven. You want to just grab the inside rail there. 
most customers who do these usually do a double oven or an oven microwave combo. The double oven feature works great for both of them. Stainless, 